talking about today, what the Lord has to say about the book of Numbers chapter 1. Before we get started in that, we'll go ahead and get started into prayer. Come Lord Jesus, we invite you into this video today to speak through me everything you want us to know. Give us spiritual eyes to see the things you want us to see, spiritual ears to hear the words that are spoken today, spiritual heart to be open and able to receive all that you have for us. Give us wisdom and understanding about what we're about to read, how to apply it as we put on the helmet of salvation, breastplate of righteousness, belt of truth, feet of readiness, shield of faith, sword of the spirit. Guard and protect us as we're traveling today to and from the different locations, our vehicles, others, their vehicles, our loved ones, their vehicles, and the animals as well. Send down our guardian angel to protect us today. Give them and us the rest and restoration we both need to do the work you called us to do. We thank you for them. Send down the Holy Spirit to guide us into all truth. We plead the blood of Jesus and pray Psalm 51 and 91 over us and our loved ones today. We ask that you help us in any areas that we're struggling with right now. We pray over marriages that you restore them. Pray over families that you heal them. We pray over addictions that they be broken off right now in the name of Jesus. We ask that you heal our bodies, minds, and spirits. If there's anyone we need to be praying for, speaking encouraging words to, or listening to, show us that person, Lord. We pray that you hedge and protect our leaders, us, our loved ones in the world. We pray that you give us, our leaders, our loved ones in the world, godly and divine wisdom to make the right choices. We pray that you give us strength today, Lord, to do the work you've called us to do. We pray that you heal our land. Lord, and if there's anyone listening right now, we ask that you forgive us of each and every sin whether it be in word, thought, and or action that we've committed against you and or others, as we forgive those who've sinned against us. Lord, we pray for our enemies that you bless them. We pray, Lord, for our enemies and anyone listening that has not yet accepted you as their Lord and Savior and that would like to do so now. We pray John 3:16 over them. For God so loved the world, that he sent his one and only begotten Son, that whosoever shall believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. So if you prayed that prayer with me today, you will go to heaven someday with the rest of the people that accepted Jesus as their Lord and Savior. For it's not by works so that no man shall boast that anyone can earn their way to heaven. There's not enough good works that anyone can do to earn their way to heaven. It's only through the perfect sinless life that was Jesus being born, died, buried, and rising again for our sins and the salvation of the world. Lord, we pray over this person that accepted you as their Lord and Savior. We pray that you help them in their daily walk and relationship with you to get into your word each and every day. So the Bible is basic instructions before leaving earth so they can discern between the truth and the lies and to get into prayer with you each and every day so they can build their relationship with you and to hear your still small voice and obey what you tell them to do. Show them the gifts and talents that you've given them and, how, um, and everyone listen as well so we can all do the work you called us to do. Help us in those areas, Lord. We pray against any attacks over everyone listening today um, from the enemy, Lord. We pray that you, write, that you give us an army to rise up, to speak the truth boldly for everyone that needs to hear it, Lord. Give us boldness that we and ourselves wouldn't know we couldn't do without you. Give us the words to speak to people that come into our path, Lord. 
Help us to have those listening ears to take the time to hear the people that are in our path. Thank you for everyone listening. May we all be blessed today by what you're about to share with us in the book of Numbers chapter 1. So let's go ahead and get started. And the Lord spoke unto Moses in the wilderness of Sinai, in the tabernacle of the congregation, on the first day of the second month, in the second year after they were come out of the land of Egypt, saying, Take ye the sum of all the congregation of the children of Israel, after their families, by the house of their fathers, with the number of their names, every male by their poles, from twenty years old and upward, all that are able to go forth to war in Israel, thou and Aaron shall number them by their armies. And with you there shall be a man of every tribe, every one head of the house of his fathers. And these are the names of the men that shall stand with you, of the tribe of Reuben, Eleazar, the son of Shedir, and Simon, Shalomiel, the son of Zerishadai, of Judah, Nashon, the son of of Amadabab, of Issachar, Nethiyo, the son of Zior, of Zubalon, Elebab, the son of Helon, of the children of Joseph, of Ephron, Elishama, the son of Hemadad, of Manasiah, Gamaliel, the son of Pedasar, of Benjamin, Abaddon, the son of Gideonani, of Dan, Ahisor, the son of Emishadai, of Asher, Pegelo, the son of Akron, of God, Elisoph, the son of Thuel, and Nepotoli, Ahira, the son of Enon. These were the renowned of the congregation, princes of the tribes of their fathers, heads of thousands in Israel. And Moses and Aaron took these men, which are expressed by their names, and they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. And they declared their pedigrees after their families, by the house of their fathers, according to the number of the names, from twenty years old and upward, by their poles. As the Lord commanded Moses, so he numbered them in the wilderness of Sinai, and the children of Reuben, Israel's eldest son, by their generations, after their families, by the house of their fathers, according to the number of the names, by their poles, every male from twenty years old and upward, all that were able to go forth to war. Those that were numbered of them, even of the tribe of Reuben, were forty and six thousand and five hundred. Of the children of Simon, by their generations, after their families, by the house of their fathers, those that were numbered of them, according to the number of the names, by their poles, every male from twenty years old and upward, all that were able to go forth to war. Those that were numbered of them, even of the tribe of Simeon, were fifty and nine thousand and three hundred. Of the children of God, by their generations, after their families, by the house of their fathers, according to the number of the names, from twenty years old and upward, all that were able to go forth to war. Those that were numbered of them, even of the tribe of God, were forty and five thousand six hundred and fifty. Of the children of Judah, by their generations, after their families, by the house of their fathers, according to the number of the names, from twenty years old and upward, all that were able to go forth to war. Those that were numbered of them, even of the tribe of Judah, were threescore and fourteen thousand and six hundred. Of the children of Issachar, by their generations, after their families, by the house of their fathers, according to the number of the names, from twenty years old and upward, all that were able to go forth to war. Those that were numbered of them, even of the tribe of Issachar, were fifty and four thousand and four hundred. Of the children of Zubalon, by their generations, after their families, by the house of their fathers, according to the number of the names, from twenty years old and upward, all that were able to go forth to war. Those that were numbered of them, even of the tribe of Zebulon, were fifty and seven thousand and four hundred. Of the children of Joseph, namely of the children of Ephraim, by their generations, after their families, by the house of their fathers, according to the number of their names, from twenty years old and upward, all that were able to go forth to war. 
Those that were numbered of them, even of the tribe of Ephraim, were 40,500. Of the children of Manasseh, by their generations, after their families, by the house of their fathers, according to the number of the names, from 20 years old and upward, all that were able to go forth to war. Those that were numbered of them, even of the tribe of Manasseh, were 30 and 2,200. Of the children of Benjamin, by their generations, after their families, by the house of their fathers, according to the number of the names, from 20 years old and upward, all that were able to go forth to war. Those that were numbered of them, even of the tribe of Benjamin, were 30 and 5,400. Of the children of Dan, by their generations, after their families, by the house of their fathers, according to the number of the names, from 20 years old and upward, all that were able to go forth to war. Those that were numbered of them, even of the tribe of Dan, were threescore and two thousand and seven hundred. Of the children of Asher, by their generations, after their families, by the house of their fathers, according to the number of the names, from twenty years old and upward, all that were able to go forth to war. Those that were numbered of them, even of the tribe of Asher, were forty and one thousand and five hundred. Of the children of Nepati, throughout their generations, after their families, by the house of their fathers, according to the number of the names, from twenty years old and upward, all that were able to go forth to war. Those that were numbered of them, even of the tribe of Nepalti, were fifty and three thousand and four hundred. These are those that were numbered, which Moses and Aaron numbered, and the princes of Israel, being twelve men, each one was for the house of his fathers. So were all those that were numbered of the children of Israel, by the house of their fathers from twenty years old and upward, all that were able to go forth to war in Israel. Even all that they were numbered were six hundred thousand and three thousand and five hundred and fifty. But the Levites after the tribe of their fathers were not numbered among them. For the Lord had spoken unto Moses, saying, only thou shalt not number the tribe of Levi, neither take the sum of them among the children of Israel. But thou shalt appoint the Levites over the tabernacle of testimony, and over all the vessels thereof, and over all things that belong to it. They shall bear the tabernacle and all the vessels thereof, and they shall minister unto it, and shall encamp round about the tabernacle. And when the tabernacle setteth forward, the Levites shall take it down. And when the tabernacle is to be pitched, the Levite shall set it up, and the stranger that cometh nigh shall be put to death. And the children of Israel shall pitch their tents, every man by his own camp, and every man by his own standard, throughout their host. But the Levites shall pitch round about the tabernacle of testimony, that there be no wrath upon the congregation of the children of Israel. And the Levites shall keep the charge of the tabernacle of testimony. And the children of Israel did according to all that the Lord commanded Moses, so did they. And that was the end of what the Lord has to say about the book of Numbers chapter 1. Hope you all enjoyed and were blessed by it. And until next time, bye.